Hi everybody, welcome back on the bench. It's a Schomburg Strauss Model 41, uh, just like the one I did a little little while back where I changed transformer. Now I wasn't going to um, show this video because I thought, uh, you know, it's just going to be a straightforward fix. And um, well, it's not. And as the title says, it's not oscillating. But um, after changing, yep, three electrolytics, um, a ten, sorry, an eight, and two sixteens. Um, yeah, it came to life, and I should have actually turned it on <laughs> earlier. It takes a little bit to warm up. I think there's uh, one or two lazy valves in there. We'll find out. And, um, yep, yeah, get static, but no stations. So, um, come on. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. You go, I think it's going up high. Um, the louder it gets, but nothing. I did the old test of um, my transistor radio. There is nothing coming coming through. So I thought it'd be worthwhile just to um, show this on video. So I um, tested out the um, coil and uh, checked for the resistance, and um, yep, it's open circuit. Um, getting no resistance reading, no matter where I put the probes on any of the terminals, whatever you know, combination I use, it's completely dead. So, search through my little box of uh, coils, and I don't really have a lot of coils, but, you know, they say luck favours the brave or the foolish, I think, and uh, I've got one that <laughs> looks exactly the same. <laughs> Even got the same manning bracket on the top. Anyway, so, um, well, the only thing I've done is I've colour-coded the... Um, um, terminals on there, and luckily enough, on the original, there was um, a little dob of uh, red paint there and green paint there. I thought, cool, we'll keep those, and the other two terminals are just changed and made them yellow and white, basically because they're the same uh, colours as my jumper leads. And with the uh, replacement, which isn't open circuit, um, I managed to find a little red dot on... Um, on the terminal, right there, that's the original. So I figured that's the orientation there, so I marked it accordingly, green and white, and then green, sorry, green there, white there, yellow there, just as I've done over there. So this is the test, guys. Let's jump it in and hope that it works and that this will be a short video. Yellow there. And white is there, and that means it leaves me with the green, which is right there. All right, so on we go. I'm hoping, <laughs> really hoping this works. I've never had to change one before. And the other thing, uh, the valve lineup on this uh, on this one, 6A8, 6AR7, um, EL33, and a 5x3. Yes! There we go. Nice. Nice. Well, that's all it was. So, um, yeah, I think worthwhile to show. Um, yeah, do your checks and that. And, um, yeah, in this case, yep, the coil itself. After <laughs> putting the multimeter on it, of course, um, I was hoping initially that uh, maybe it was one of the, uh, 
like one of those two waxies that were originally there because um, I've had waxies um, kill oscillation as well uh, but yeah it wasn't the case um, on this radio but anyway guys that's it if I come up with any other funny little problems with this I'll uh, come back but other than that that's a really really easy fix especially when you happen to have a spare coil that fits perfectly and I know to be honest I don't bugger all about oscillator coils um, I'm just again just lucky anyway thank you for watching and I'll be back soon bye